Welcome to 5 Minute School and in this video we're going to be talking about the ABO system of blood grouping. So the ABO system involves four potential blood types and they are determined by the presence or absence of antigen A or antigen B. The four blood group types are A, B, AB and O. Those who have blood group A this group of people have antigen A present in the blood and anti-B antibodies. Group B, this group has antigen B present in the blood and anti-A antibodies. Group AB have both antigen A and antigen B present and no associated antibodies. Group O have no antigens present in the blood but have anti-A and anti-B antibodies. Blood type O is the most common blood type in the world. The way to determine your blood type is with an experiment called agglutination. Agglutination means the collection of several particles joining together in a mass. The way that agglutination determines your blood type is when we add a specific antigen to its corresponding antibody. They will clump together and form a mass in the process called agglutination. So if we mixed antigen A with anti-A antibody, there will be agglutination. Here's how we do the experiment. We need a sample of red blood cells and we need an antiserum, which is what contains the anti-A and anti-B antibodies. So there is antiserum A, which contains anti-A antibodies and antiserum B, which contains anti-B antibodies. We put antiserum A on one side of a glass tile and antiserum B on the other side. We add a sample of blood which is rich in red blood cells to each side to mix with the corresponding antiserum. If there is agglutination present, it can usually just be seen with the naked eye, but via a microscope we can specifically see clumping together of the red blood cells. To interpret the results, if we see agglutination on the antiserum A side only, that means in order for that to happen, the sample must contain antigen A, so the blood type is A. If agglutination happens on the antiserum B side, the sample must contain antigen B, so the blood type is B. If agglutination happens on the antiserum A and B side, the sample contains both antigen A and antigen B, so the blood type is AB. If agglutination doesn't occur on either side, the sample doesn't contain antigen A or antigen B, so it's blood type O.